inside the Nautilus Theater. Here inside sunny Orlando, Florida, Inside Look proudly presents Seal of Fortune, a very special game show where real life humans get to test their knowledge on the rest of the animal kingdom. And here's your host, who is absolutely the most, Nick Wicket. Welcome to Seal of Fortune, everyone. My name is Nick, and please give it up for my pod, Vince and Vanna. Now, folks, some of you may know me from Orton Stadium. Wait, 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 wait. Does this help? <laughs> That's right. I'm one of the animal trainers. You know, one of my favorite parts about being a SeaWorld animal trainer is the opportunity to inspire and educate our guests by sharing SeaWorld's amazing animals and their stories with all of you. But today, I'm traded in my wetsuit and my whistle for this, the Seal of Fortune stage, the most awesome fun game show here at SeaWorld. I can't wait to see only SeaWorld game show. <laughs> Maybe true, but it's still the most awesome fun game show here at SeaWorld. Kids, are you excited to play? Yeah. That's right, gang, you heard me. Today is all about the kids. How does that sound, kids? Yeah. All right, now here's how it's gonna work for our audience members, all right? If Tiffany, our stage manager, she's gonna make an appearance in here uh, in just a second. If Tiffany, our stage manager, chooses you to participate from the audience, what you'll do is you'll look for Vince and Vanna at the base of these two ramps. Hi, Tiffany, how was your break? Good, you're ready to go. All right, you guys are gonna look for Vince and Vanna at the base of these two ramps. They're going to safely lead you up the ramps and give you further instructions from there. Pretty easy, right? Yeah, that's pretty easy. They're going to tell you guys exactly what you need to know. But before we get started, what do you say we kick things off by meeting our teams? Does that sound fun? All right, first up, straight from the zoo team, please say hello to the green team. Hey, guys, how's it going? You excited to be here? Awesome, we have Casey and Ben from our zoo department. Now, Casey, let's start off with you. Now, I have been a SeaWorld animal trainer since before you were born, but how long have you been a SeaWorld animal trainer? For about three years now. Three years, that's pretty awesome. Do you have a favorite animal in your area where you're working? First of all, where are you working, Tiffany? Dolphin. I'm sorry, not Tiffany. Tiffany works at Dolphin as well, but you're Casey. Casey works at Dolphin with Tiffany. Yes, she does, and it's also her stage manager's name. This is awesome. All right, so, do you have a favorite dolphin? I do. Her name is Yar. She's covered in freckles and has a unique personality. Woo. That's really cool. Getting to know the animals is such a fun part of our job. All right, let's move over here to Ben. Now, Ben, you are currently in our sea lion area, correct? Yeah. All right, now, Ben, you know, when I was going through these cards last night, I noticed that the logo on the Seal of Fortune sign is actually a sea lion. Did you notice that? Yeah, I also noticed that. Yeah, so Ben, what do you say you share with the kids? How about you tell them a really easy way to tell the difference between a seal and a sea lion? Yeah, so sea lions have really, really big front flippers, but seals, they're a lot more small. That's right, so that logo is actually a sea lion, right? Yep, 100%. All right, so... Why do you think they went with Seal of Fortune? Because Sea Lion of Fortune isn't funny. <laughs> but Ben is! Let's hear from Ben, everybody! <laughs> All right, now guys, before we started, you guys had the opportunity to go out and meet some of our friends out there, and you got the opportunity to pick a third member of your team to be the team captain. Is that right? All right, who would you pick for your team captain of the green team? We picked Keegan! All right, Keegan, come on down. Come on, Keegan, make your way up here. Come on over here, how's it going, bud? Good, are you cool? No, you want to take that hood off so you can see a little bit? There you go, there you go. Hey, all right, Keegan, I got a question for you. How old are you, and where are you from? Florida. He's from Florida, so am I. And how old are you, Keegan? So, no, not 
All right, so Keegan, thank you for joining us here today, this afternoon. I'm gonna ask you a question. Have you ever played Seal of Fortune before? Is this your first time playing Seal of Fortune? Yes. Yes, well, let me share something with you. This is my first time hosting Seal of Fortune. So we can do this together, that's pretty cool. Yeah, they just told me yesterday that I was doing this. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a shock, right? Yeah, I think the, uh, the regular host called in sick. Um, although I swore I saw him on Pipeline this morning. You know what though, we're gonna get through this. We're gonna help each other out here and help you do this. Yeah, my friend Tiffany, the stage manager, she's like, oh yeah, Nick, it'll be really fun, really easy. All you have to do is read the instructions on these cards. I don't read instructions. She's like, oh, you can do it. You have cool hair. We both have cool hair. Yeah, so Tiffany really knows how to play me, so here I am. Do you think you can help me get through this? Yeah. You're gonna help me out? Awesome, I think we're gonna be best friends. Folks, give it up for Keegan! All right, Keegan, you're gonna make your way right back here. You're gonna join your green team. That's right, now we've got the green team all set up. We are ready to go. Now, according to these cards, here's where you guys come in. Now, I'm gonna divide the audience into two. From this line over, you guys are gonna be cheering on the green team. Let me hear you cheer on the green team! This line over this direction, you guys are going to be cheering on the blue team. Let's hear it, Bill. All right, and what do you say? We meet our blue team straight from our operations department. Where is the blue team? Where's the blue team? Your boss, but you know, guys, guys, we're trying to do a game show here. You're doing a game show? Yeah. Oh, game show. You should call it Sea Lion of Fortune. I've always thought that would be a good game. We already game. tried that. It's not funny. Oh, uh, can we play? Can we play? No, you can't play a game show. As you can see, you need three members to play. Oh, we got yes, Caleb right here. That, look, this is Caleb. Hi, guys, we got guys, you can just take someone's child. Is it okay if we take your child? What do you think, you guys? Should we let him play? All right, come on up. Looks like our party here has been crashed by the longshoreman and shore woman. What's up, Caleb? Thanks for coming over. You have cool hair, too. It's a cool hair day at Seal of Fortune. Come on over here. Stand right here with me. All right, seems like you've met a couple of friends here. Let me let me talk to them first. How's it going, guys? Hi, everybody. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Why don't you go ahead and share your names and, you know, where you work in the bar? Oh, I'm Chester. We're along the shore, man. We work along, along the shore. shore. Yeah. And we're so excited because we're gonna win this game with Kayla! I don't even know how to play, but we're gonna win. It's gonna be great! Oh, okay. Well, you guys are excited. Caleb, are you excited? Yeah. Awesome. You look excited. Caleb, how old are you and where are you from? Seven, and I live in Sanford, Florida. You are very good at following directions and very well spoken. Seven, and you live in Sanford, Florida. That is awesome. Well, are you guys ready to play Seal of Fortune? Yes! yes. yes. Your podium there, Caleb. We all wish you luck. I think you're going to need it with that gang right there. All right, folks, here's how Seal of Fortune works. According to these cards, what we're going to do is for the next 15 minutes or so, we are going to compete in a variety of physical challenges. Now, if you win the physical challenge, the winning team's captain will get the opportunity to answer a bonus question. If correct, they will get gold tokens. If they miss the question, then the other team will have the chance to steal. Are you guys following along? All right, now, round one is worth one token, round two is worth two, and round three, the final round, will be worth three gold tokens. At the end of the game, the team with the most tokens gets a chance to take a trip to the Plano Bowl! Yes, due to copyright infringements, I did say Planko board. That's right. And if they do get to go to the Planko board, at the Planko board, the winning team captain will get a chance to win an incredible SeaWorld prize. And I'm going to go over all those prizes a little bit later. Does that sound fun? Yeah! All right, let's play Seal Fortune. Okay, moving on, right along. Here's where the audience kids come in. If you would like to participate, remember, Tiffany's going to make her way through the audience. But, kids, you're going to need to do three things. Number one, stay in your seat. 
Number two, you're going to need to raise your hand. And number three, you're going to need to make some noise. What's your name? Elliot. Elliot? Okay, that's cool. And where are you from? Alright, you're awesome from Florida. Alright, and you are? Tyler. Tyler, where are you from, Tyler? Also from Florida! That's right. It's beautiful weather here in sunny Florida. Alright, you guys, come with me. We're going to move our way right up this direction. I'm just following the instructions on these cars. Here's what we're going to do. First and foremost, do you guys like fish? No. I love fish. I love fish. Do I smell like a fish, Tyler? No, I don't smell like fish. Well, that's good. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I don't smell like fish. She doesn't like fish. Do you like fish? You do. Okay, so what's your favorite kind of fish to order when you eat out? Salmon. I love salmon. Have you tried salmon over at Dine with Orcas? It's amazing. All right, so you like salmon. Did you ever hear, have you ever heard of anything called sustainable fishing? Have you guys heard of that? All right, well, it says right here, Elliot, sustainable fishing is the number of fish taken from the population at a rate that still allows the stock to repopulate. You know what that means? That's really important, right? It is important. Did you know that SeaWorld works with uh, sustainable fishing companies all over the world? Isn't that really cool? That's right, because we need to make sure that those fish stay healthy and abundant in the ocean, not only for the animals out in the ocean, but for all of us too, because we like fish. All right, so what we're going to do, this game, uh, what we're going to do is you can see we have a, bu a bucket of fish in front of you, and I want to give you a little bit of an explanation on how we're going to play. First and foremost, on a fish scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you to play? 10. 10, me too. All right, go ahead. You guys pick out a fish of that bucket. Each of you take one fish, hold it up. Okay, now, uh, Tyler, do you know what kind of fish that is? No. Look right there, it says they're fake fish. Yeah, so they're fake fish, and in just a couple minutes, we're going to turn these fake fish into fake flying fish. Or we'll just bounce them on our head. All right, so we're going to turn these into fake flying fish. Here's how we're going to play. You guys are going to turn around. We're going to hold the fish in our hands. Elliot, there you go. Perfect. All right, good. All right, now, you guys, in a minute, when I say go, we're going to be tossing fish across the stage. Now, stay with your buckets, okay? You're going to toss fish underhand to your teammate who's going to be standing on the other side, all right? When I say go, does that sound fun? All right. I'm going to show you in just a second. She wants to know where our teammate is. Yes, of course, she's picking Vince back there, but no, Vince isn't playing this game. We're going to get a blue team member and a green team member to be our fish catchers. Come on down, you guys. Go ahead and grab your nets right there. You're going to stand behind the red line. All right, we're already having some trouble here. So remember, we're going to stand behind the red line. Perhaps I should stand in between the two of you guys to make sure things are fair and so that she doesn't get crazy over here. You know what? Hang on a second. This isn't fair. She's completely dressed and ready for this game, showing off her waiters there, has the net ready to go. I don't think that is fair. Man, can we help Ben out here? Oh, look at that, Ben. Perfect timing. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, I'll hold your neck for you there for just a second. Put that on. Nice. And now you're ready, Ben. You got your cool slicker. How's Ben look, everybody? That's right. Looking good, Ben. Hang on, hang on. Wait a second. This is a friendly, kid-friendly family park, and it's going to be a friendly competition. So no fighting back here. Why don't you guys uh, take it to the runway? them with your nets. Come on back. You both win. You're both pretty. What we're going to do is we're going to play a game that we call Nothing But Nets. Did I already say that? No. All right. They were supposed to play sound there. 
You guys ready in the booth? Nothing but net! <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> All right, so here we go. When I say go, remember you guys, you're gonna be tossing underhand. Elliot, underhands like this. We don't want any black guys. Not yet, I didn't say go. All right, okay, when I say go, you're gonna toss. These guys, you can only use the net to catch the fish. You cannot catch the fish with your hands, all right? The first team to get five fish in the net wins. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go! Oh yeah, we got blue team. Almost caught that green team, you're flying. That's right, I'm taking a little nice catch, blue team. We got green for green. All right, all right. A little bit further there, Elliot. Use the muscle. Oh, good job, Elliot. so much. Hang on just a second. You guys did great. Ellie, give me a high five. That was pretty awesome. Great job, Tyler. Great win. You guys, thank you very much for participating. Nobody goes home empty-handed. One of the coolest animals here at SeaWorld, the Orca Plush. Let's hear it for Elliot and Tyler, everybody. All right, guys, go ahead and make your way back down to your seat. Very well done. All right, congratulations, you guys. You guys, you know what, Vince and Van will take care of those fish. You guys head back to your podium. Now, because you won that challenge, you get the opportunity to answer a bonus question. Now, this first bonus question is going to be on sustainable fishing. All right, so I got that, we have that answer. All right, now, I'm going to read the question, and then you're going to have five seconds to answer the question. All right, listen carefully. When fishing, a particular species, a large amount of healthy sea animals are captured and discarded as waste. What is this called? Is it A, bycatch, B, bait and switch, C, poaching, or D, garbage? Five seconds. All right, guys, five seconds is up. Here we go. When fishing a particular species, a large amount of healthy sea animals are captured and discarded as waste. What is this called? A, I catch. B, bait and switch. C, poaching. Or D, garbage. What's your answer, Keegan? Bait and switch. B, bait and switch? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Keegan. That is incorrect. <laughs> now you get the cue on time. Beat up the poor little kid for getting home. That's right, Keegan. It's not a big deal. You're going to get another chance in just a second. But in the meantime, the blue team has a chance to steal the point. The whole token. All right, so get ready, blue team. You guys are going to cheer your team on if they get this, cor this answer correct. Now, you guys heard the question. I'll read it one more time. When fishing for a particular species, a large amount of healthy sea animals are captured and discarded as waste. What is this called? A, bycatch. B, bait and switch. C, poaching. Or D, garbage. Five seconds, and what's your answer? A. A. The answer is B. His answer is A, bycatch. That is correct! <laughs> Congratulations, Blue Team. You guys win a gold token. Now you're going to hang on to that gold token, because in just a little bit, we're going to take our trip to the Planko board. All right, you guys. Are you guys ready to play round two? More importantly, are we ready in the booth? Because yeah. here it comes. We call this game Fast Facts Catch. There it is. All right, here we go. Now, like I said, we call this game Fast Facts Grab. Not catch, I'm sorry. Fast Facts Grab. All right, let's all say that fast three times and see if we can get it correctly. I'm kidding. All right, so thank you very much, Anna. Okay, guys. So here's what we're going to do next. I'm going to get bigger hands to hold all these cars. And then what we're going to do is we are going to play a trivia game. I love trivia. You guys like trivia? Yeah! All right. Team captains, do you guys like trivia? Yeah! All right, because we're going to use you two for this next round. Come on down here with me. There you go. Come on over. It was Camden, right? Cameron? What is it? Caleb. Caleb. Caleb and Keegan. Caleb and Keegan, got it. All right, guys, hang on, we're not racing. He's ready to go. We're not gonna race anywhere yet, just not yet, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way up to this, these buckets up here. Come on with me, you guys. Caleb and Keegan, you're gonna come up here with me. Stand right there, perfect, you're gonna stand right there. Don't reach in the buckets yet. Okay, guys, we're gonna face this direction, look at mom and dad. 
All right, here we go. I got a question for you. Who or what is your favorite SeaWorld animal? Orca. Orca. Great answer. All right, what's yours? Also Orca. Orca, Orca, Orca. That's pretty cool. Those are great answers, you guys. Let's see what else Vince and Vanna brought us in this bucket here. All right, now hang on just a second. Like I said, this game is called Fast Facts Grab. So what we're going to do is I'm going to be asking a series of trivia questions. What you guys need to do is you need to reach into this bucket and choose the animal that best fits the answer. You guys understand? So I'm going to ask a question, I'm going to say go, and then you guys are going to run up to the bucket, you're going to grab one of the animals, and if you think it's the right one, you're going to hold it high up into the sky, okay? So, we have our favorite, the orca, we have a puffin, a manatee, a sea turtle, flamingo, sea lion, see the big pectoral flippers in the front, sea lion, and a shark. All right, you have the same ones in that size. That's some fun. All right, now guys, you're gonna come back here with me. Let me make sure these are even. Okay, perfect. All right, you guys are gonna stand behind these red lines right there. Remember, when I say go, you're gonna race up to your pocket and you're gonna choose the animal that best fits the answer. All right, question number one. Wait till I say go. What animal is prone to overheating, which means getting really hot, and often seen jugging or lifting their flippers out of the water to cool off. Ready? Go! Remember guys, flippers. We're looking for an animal with flippers. And he's got it, that's right! Sea lion! Nice job, Caleb. Good job. Go ahead and put those animals back in your fucking head back this way. There we go, that was awesome. You're learning a lot about sea lions and seals here today. Very good. Hang on, we're not finished yet. Come on over here. So you've got one point. You got a chance to keep up. We're going to go to five. Okay, sound fun? Here's the next one. Okay, typically, this animal only leaves the ocean to lay eggs. Go! That is correct! It is a sea turtle! Great job, Keegan. Go ahead and put that back in. We tied it up one one. Nicely done, boys. Come on back over here. All right, guys, competition's getting hot. All right, here we go. The next question. This animal is also known as a sea cow. Go! We're looking for something that looks like a cow, but it lives in the sea. Nice job, Keegan. That is correct. It is a manatee. Nicely done. Come back here. Don't worry, pal. we got a few more questions. You're going to head right over here. Get behind that red line. We are two to one. The next question. These animals have excellent vision, smell, and hearing, and can even sense electricity from other animals. Ready? Go! Okay, look up there. Come on, guys. That is correct. Nicely done. Come on back over here. That is a shark. Well done. That was a tough one. Good answer. Oh, you have a shark book. That is important. That's right. You don't need the internet to read all that silly stuff. You picked up a book and read it. Learned about sharks. Great job. All right, we're tied up two to two. Here we go. What animal is known for its large size, large size, and striking black and white coloration? Go! Come on, guys. I think you might know what this one is. Oh, yes! Yeah. Nicely done. It's a small size black and white animal, but that's all right. Come on back over here, nicely done. We're up three to two. Here we go, we just got two more questions, guys. You guys are doing great. Here we go. These animals are nicknamed as sea parrots and sometimes known as clowns of the sea. Go! So you're looking for an animal that looks like a parrot or a clown. That is correct! That is correct. Puffin, nicely done, guys. Come on back over. Where are we at with score? We're up three, two, is that right? Three, two. Three, three. Three, 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 three. He's like, oh, you take a point for me? That's right, three, three. Okay, got it. Here we go. All right, I already asked you that one. There you go, Hannah. Thank you very much. All right, we're running out of questions here, you guys. All right, it's going to be a 45, 45 minute show. Here we go. These animals are four to five feet tall, but only weigh four to eight pounds. Go! Looking for a tall animal that doesn't wail. That is correct! That is correct! Nicely done, guys. Come on back over here. 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 Come on back over here.
correct, a flamingo, nicely done. Come on over here. Most bird species, if not all bird species, have hollow bones. So they don't weigh very much. Great, great answer. All right, that was that one. Okay, I think we're at four, three. Is that correct? All right, thank you. You're a very fair player. All right, guys, I'm running out of questions here. I might have to make up some. Tiffany, I have one question left. Here we go. What? laughing over there. Thank you for having fun. Uh, what animal's whiskers function as a navigation system and will get lost quickly if they don't have them? Ready? Go! You're looking for an animal that has whiskers. That is correct! That is correct! A sea lion. Those whiskers are called by and they use them in murky water to sort of navigate which direction they're swimming. Really good. Uh oh. We're 4 4. And I don't have any more questions. I'm going to make something up. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to make one up. Does that sound good? Uh oh, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, our lovely banner has come to the rescue. Nah, I could have come up with a better one. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, this might be a race. It's very sort of asked one like this, but it might be a race. Okay, get ready. This animal's nesting success, nesting success, can be impacted by hurricanes. Go! All right, this is good one, you guys. We are 4-4. Four, four. That is correct! By a hair! By a hair! We have a winner, the blue team. Well done, you guys. Congratulations, make your way right back over there. You guys did an awesome job. Those were really great questions. I hope we learned a lot about some of the animals. And it also tells us that we have the opportunity for another bonus question. Yeah, thank you, Jace. I hear you out there. All right, so it looks like we've got some bonus questions here. All right, now because we learned so much about animals, we're gonna go with a bonus question from our SeaWorld Rescue Department, okay? I gotta tell you something. Did you guys know that SeaWorld has rescued over 40,000 animals? Let's hear it! Yeah! Over 40,000 animals. We have an expert team of animal rescue uh, teammates that are on call 24 7, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And just by visiting our parks today, you guys are contributing to all of our SeaWorld efforts. So give yourself a big thank you round of applause. Great job, everybody. It's important work. All right, guys, here's your bonus question on SeaWorld Rescue. Okay, this is a good one. What is the largest animal SeaWorld has ever rescued? You have five seconds. Oh, you know what? Hold on, pause, sorry. Tick tock. Let me give you the answer choices first. Okay, important, right? Okay, A, Winston the Walrus. B, JJ the Gray Whale. C, Clyde the Elephant Seal. Or D, Louie the Whale. Okay. Okay, five seconds is up. What do you think the answer is? Louie the whale. That's really close, but I'm sorry, that is not the correct answer. So what that means is that our green team has the opportunity to steal this golden token. Now remember, this is round two, so it's worth two tokens. All right, guys, one more time. What is the largest animal SeaWorld has ever rescued? A, Winston the walrus. B, JJ the whale, the gray whale. Clyde, the elephant seal, or Louie the whale. Five seconds. Okay, guys, time is up. What is your answer? Gray whale. JJ the gray whale? That is correct! <laughs> yes, that is correct. Our park out in SeaWorld, San Diego, California rescued a orphan gray whale. I actually had the opportunity to go out to that park and see that whale up close. It was an amazing rescue story, and yes, that is correct. So, what that means is you guys have the opportunity so you get two gold tokens, and he's already given them to you. Look at that, that is awesome. So, all right guys, you've got two tokens. You guys have one, but don't worry, because this is the final round, and it is worth three gold tokens, okay? And we're going back to the audience. Get ready, you guys, Tiffany's gonna be out there. Remember, you have to stay in your seats, raise your hand, and make some noise. All right, Tiffany, let's do this. Direction. Perfect. Put it on the 
this up. Hey, thanks for being here. You guys having fun? Are you learning a lot? Yes. Yeah, how about you? Yes. yes. Awesome, awesome. Okay, what's your name, pal? David. David, thanks for being here. And yours, pal? Kaden. Kaden, David and Kaden. All right, thanks for being here with, with us. We appreciate that. All right, you guys, are you guys ready to play Seal of Fortune? Okay, it's going to be fun, it's going to be exciting. You are going to head over to see this, he's going to take you that way, and buddy, you're going to come with me. You're going to walk this way, and we're going to go over and say hi to Vanna over here. Now, I have a question for you. Have you ever played with balloons? Yeah, they're super cool, right? Yeah, they are cool, but did you know that they can also be very dangerous to see life if they end up in the ocean? Yeah, they can be, you knew that, that's great. But you know what, have you ever heard of something called a biodegradable balloon? Biodegradable balloons, just like all of these, break down easily, which makes them even super cool. Way cooler than regular balloons. Have you ever played with a biodegradable balloon before? You're not sure? Well, what do you say? We play a game we call Balloons Are Busted! All right, you're going to stay right here with Ben, okay? Uh, you're going to stay over there with Vince. I need another member from our green team and another member from our blue team. You guys are going to head down here. You're going to have a seat right here. Back to back. All right, friendly competition, everyone. You take it easy. All right, guys, now here's how this game works. The kids are going to run you a balloon one at a time. They're going to hand you the balloon. And when they hand you the balloon, you are going to pop the balloon. All right, so you guys are going to run them a balloon one at a time, and you guys are going to pop it. How do you think you're going to pop the balloon? With my feet. No, you're not going to be using your feet. How do you think you are going to pop the balloon? With your feet. Again, no, you're not going to be using your feet. You guys are going to be popping the balloons with your butts. We can't. I asked. It's allowed. Yes. Okay. So you guys are going to be using your butts. You can't use your fingernails. You can't use your fingers. They're going to hand you the balloon, and you're going to pop the balloon by sitting on it with your butt. The first one to five pop balloons wins. All right? You guys ready on the sides? Okay. Remember, guys, you're going to stay on these carpets as you run the balloons over because there is a little bit of water in the balloon. All right? So you're going to make sure you stay on the carpet because we are not busting butts. We're busting balloons with butts. All right, you got that? All right, here we go, you guys. One, two, three, go! All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Oh, let's hold up. And two. We're neck and neck. Here we go. We still have two. We got three on this side. Four. Lost a little bit of time. And five. We have a winner. Nicely done. All right, all right. Congratulations, green team. Thank you very much. You guys did awesome. Come on down here. And remember, nobody leaves with uh, an empty hand, so we're going to bring them two prizes. You guys are going to head down here. You guys also get really cool seal of fortune flushes. Those are actually seals. Thank you very much, everybody. Congratulations, green team. You have won round three, which means you have the opportunity to answer this third and final bonus question, which is worth three gold tokens. Now you have how many gold tokens? You have one. You have how many green team? You have two, which means if you guys get this correct, you win the game. All right, this is important. Silence in the house, please. Go blue! Here we go. Which type of trash takes the longest to decompose. Hang on, I'm gonna read that again. Which type of trash, garbage, takes the longest to decompose? Is it A, aluminum, B, plastic, C, styrofoam? You have five seconds. Okay guys, five seconds is up. Which type of trash takes the longest to decompose? What's your answer? Is it C, styrofoam? I'm sorry, pal. That is incorrect. It's all right. It's all right. Because if they get it wrong, I don't have a card to tell us what we're going to do next. Or we'll figure something out. Okay? So I'm going to come over here because Green Team has the opportunity to steal and take the game. All right, guys. Here we go. I'm going to answer the question one more or ask the question one more time. Which type of trash takes the longest to decompose? Is it A, aluminum? B, plastic, or C, styrofoam. Five seconds. Okay. As 
you can tell by the TikTok right now, we're out of five seconds. So, what is your answer? The question, which type of trash takes the longest to decompose? Plastic. Your answer is B, plastic. That is correct! That is correct! Congratulations, you guys. You get three more gold tokens, which gives you the opportunity to go to the plank, uh, plank board with five. Thank you very much. But you know what? You guys did an awesome job, pal. Give me a high five right there. You did great. And like I said earlier, and I said it several times, nobody goes home empty-handed here at Seal of Fortune. So you get a really cool SeaWorld backpack full of some SeaWorld swag. Thank you very much for being here. Let's hear it for Blue Team everybody. Now, you guys are gonna hang out right here, okay? Because you're gonna help us cheer on the green teams. That sound fun? Look at that, I love it. All right, so what we're gonna do, are you guys ready to head to the plank board? Come on down. Now, Keegan, you're gonna stand over here with me. I'm gonna give you a little explanation as to how the plank board works, okay? So what you're gonna do in just a minute, you're gonna go up top. There are several openings on the top of the plank board. You're gonna drop the gold tokens into those slots. They'll go from top to bottom and land on one of these prize icons, all right? Keegan, stand over here just a little bit, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna tell you what those prize icons mean, okay? So if you land in the palm tree, what do you think you're gonna take home? A palm tree? <laughs> no, Keegan, you're not gonna take home a palm tree. What that means is that is a representation of a day at Discovery Cove! That's pretty cool. Now, that's a resort day at Discovery Cove. I'm going to tell you why I said that in just a second, all right? So, if you happen to land, say, on the dolphin, what do you think you're going to be taking home? <laughs> no, not a dolphin. They're staying here. Yeah, we're not going to have you go home with a dolphin. What that means is you are going to get to do a meet and greet with a dolphin at our Key West area. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, let's try one more. All right, you see that teddy bear there? That represents a big SeaWorld plush. Now, if you land there, what do you think you're gonna take home? SeaWorld plush. Correct, you're gonna be taking home a big SeaWorld plush. That is absolutely right. Great, all right, this is a beluga whale. If you land there, you're gonna get a beluga whale meet and greet at our wild Arctic exhibit. Does that sound cool? All right, now I went over that one, that one, that one, and that one. Just one more in the middle. That is the grand prize. That's why there's only one slot. That palm tree with a dolphin represents a day of discovery code, including an opportunity to swim with the dolphins. Right? We don't mess around with prizes here at SeaWorld. That's pretty exciting. All right, Keegan, you're going to follow Vince. He's going to take you up. It's time to walk the plank board. You're going to make your way up there. Audience, you're going to help us cheer on. Where's Keegan's family, everybody? Keegan's family. Hi there. Is that mom? Mom? All right, mom. You're going to cheer him on. Maybe give him a little bit of advice. Do this. Don't do that. Keep that. Don't keep that. But you know what? It's Keegan's choice at the end, okay? All right, Keegan, you have five tokens, correct? All right, so what we're going to do is you're going to drop them in one at a time. Wherever it lands, I'm going to give you the chance to keep that prize or trade it in and try another token, all right? You understand? All right, let's go with the first one, Keegan. System already. Love it. Oh, Keegan, it's a big, a big choice here, a big question. Now that is a day at Discovery Cove, a resort day at Discovery Cove. Now, do you want to keep that, or do you want to try to go for the Discovery Cove with the dolphin swim? What do you think? Whatever you want. <laughs> Up to you, buddy. You got four more. Somebody just said it. I heard him. He's gonna go again. We love the gaming spirit. That's right, we've got four more choices. All right, Keegan, next one. Just one. Drop it in. Oh. Okay, still cool. Still cool. Look, he's not even. Yeah! Give me the chance to try it. All right, so we're going to take that out. We've got three more choices. All right, Keegan, you've got three more choices. Go for it. Come on, guys, it's here. Oh. He's shaking it! He's shaking it! He's shaking it! No more chances! Come on down, Keegan! Nicely done! I love that spirit! You did great, and you know what? You are going to have an awesome time at this 
Discovery Gold. That is an incredible prize. We really appreciate it. Everybody come on down. Folks, that wraps up this game of Seal of Fortune. Remember to please reuse, recycle, and reduce whenever you can. And have a great day here at Seaworld, everybody! Go!